Good morning, students. Welcome to your grammar class. Today we'll do lesson eleven pronoun. What is pronoun? A pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun or noun phrase in a sentence. Pronoun refers to either a noun that has already been mentioned or to a noun that does not need to be named specifically. It is used to avoid repeating the same noun over and over again. Let us understand pronoun with some examples. Read these sentences. Look at Mike. Mike is a good boy. Mike loves to study. Mike is good at skating. Instead of my, we can use he. Now read these sentences again. Look at Mike. He is a good boy. He loves to study. He is good at skating. The word he takes the place of my and is called pronoun. Now read these sentences. Lisa left Lisa's bag on the bus. Mrs. Johnson told Lisa that Lisa could go and get Lisa's bag. Mr. John, the bus driver, had already left the bag in the office. So Lisa had to get the bag from the office before Lisa could go back to Mrs. John's classroom with the bag. By using pronoun, the above sentences we can read like this. Lisa left her bag on the bus. Mrs. Johnson told her that she could go and get her bag. Mr. John, the bus driver, had already left it in the office. So Lisa had to get the bag from the office before she could go back to Mrs. Johnson's classroom with it. All the colored words in the above sentences are pronoun. Now, we will study the various kinds of pronouns. Personal pronoun. In English grammar, a personal pronoun is a pronoun 
that refers to a particular person, group, or things. Like all pronouns, personal pronouns can take the place of nouns and nouns phrases. I, me, you, he, she, it, they, we, him, her, us, them are personal pronouns. Personal pronouns stand for three persons. First person, second person, and third person. All pronouns that are used for the person's speaking are known as pronouns of the first person. I, me, mine, we, us, ours are pronouns of the first person. I won the award. Mohan gave me a book. This book is mine. We are best friends. This car belongs to us. This house is ours. In the our sentences, I, me, mine, we, us and ours are personal pronouns of the first person. All pronouns that are used for the persons spoken to are called pronouns of the second person. Only you are allowed to attend the party. Why are you crying? You are my friend. Can I sit next to you? This book is yours. In the above sentences, you and yours are the personal pronouns of the second person. All pronouns that are used for persons spoken about are called pronouns of the third person. He, him, his, she, her, hers, it, they, them, theirs are pronouns of third person. The pronoun it is used to refer a things without life, an animal, 
और अ बेबी नाउ रीड दिस सेंटेंसेस ही इज डूइंग सम वर्क वी रेस्पेक्ट हिम फॉर हिज ऑनेस्टी दिस पेन इज हिज she is cleaning her clothes i informed her about the accident this pen is hers they are good citizens the teachers give them many prizes these chairs are there in these sentences he him his she her hers they them theirs are the personal pronouns of the third person Here is a table to remind you about personal pronoun. Personal pronoun of first person I, we, me, us, my, mine, or ours. Pronoun for second person you, your, yours. Personal pronouns of third person he his him her hers she they them theirs underline the personal pronoun in the following sentences This book is mine. In this sentence, mine is personal pronoun of first person. My brother gave me a book. In this sentence, me is a personal pronoun of first person. You are a good sports person. In this sentence, you is a personal pronoun of second person. Please give them my regards. In this sentence, them is a personal pronoun of third person. This mobile phone is hers. Here, hers is also a personal pronoun of third person. demonstrative pronouns a demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun that is used to point something specific within a sentence these pronouns can indicate items in space or time and they can be either singular or plural the demonstrative pronouns are this that these and those this and that are called singular demonstrative pronouns whereas 
these and those are called plural demonstrative pronouns children this and these are used for people or things that are near to you or speaker whereas that and those are used for people or things that are far from you or from speaker this is my book these are my books that is my book those are my books now pick out some demonstrative pronouns from the following sentences what is this in this sentence this is demonstrative pronoun these are not good books in this sentence these is a demonstrative pronoun that is nice dress in this sentence that is a demonstrative pronoun those are my friends in this sentence those is demonstrative pronoun what month is this in this sentence this is demonstrative pronoun these are my notebooks those are yours in this sentence these and those both are demonstrative pronoun next pronoun is interrogative pronouns pronouns used for asking questions are called interrogative pronouns what which who whom whose where etc are interrogative pronouns these words are used to ask questions what is your name 
which of them is the tallest who are you where are your books all the colored words are interrogative pronouns children always remember one thing while using interrogative pronoun we always use question mark at the end of the sentence and the sentence says are called interrogative sentences write the correct interrogative pronouns in the blanks dash invented the computer who invented the computer dash is your school where is your school dash do you want to meet whom do you want to meet dash of these books is yours which of these books is yours dash is your name what is your name reflexive pronouns pronouns which refers back to the same person animal or things as does the subject are called reflexive pronoun in other words the object of the verb refers to the same person animal or things as the subject myself ourselves yourself yourselves itself herself himself themselves are reflexive pronoun we enjoyed ourselves in the party in this sentence we is a subject enjoyed is a verb and ourselves is a object here ourselves refers back to the subject we the cat hurt itself here itself refers back to the subject the cat she is looking herself in the mirror here herself refers back to the subject she children reflexive pronouns has two forms singular and plural forms myself yourself himself herself itself are reflexive singular reflexive pronouns whereas ourselves 
yourselves themselves are plural reflexive pronoun filling the blanks with suitable reflexive pronoun i introduce das to class i introduced myself to the class here myself refers back to the subject i next sentence all of you must clean desk all of you must clean desk all of you must clean yourself here yourself refers back to the subject all of you the children hide desk answer will be the children hide themselves here themselves refers back to the children he introduced that he introduced himself here himself also refers back to the subject that is he let us divide this chapter pronoun are the words that is used in place of noun personal pronoun stand for three persons first person second person and third person first person pronoun i me mine we us ours the second person pronouns are you yours third person pronouns are he him his she her hers it they them theirs the pronoun it is used to refer a thing without life an animal or a baby this that these and those are demonstrative pronoun this and that are singular demonstrative pronoun whereas these and those are plural demonstrative pronouns this and these are used for the things or people near to the speaker that and those are used for the things or the people far to the speaker pronouns used for asking questions are called interrogative pronouns we always use question mark at the end of interrogative sentences ourselves themselves himself yourself myself yourself herself itself are reflexive pronoun 
Reflexive pronouns has two forms. Singular reflexive forms are myself, yourself, himself, herself, and itself. Plural reflexive pronoun forms are yourselves, ourselves, and themselves. So children, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now students, read the chapter again and try to solve the exercise given in the book. Take care. Thank you.